everyone, and welcome back to another little game review. Uh, for the first time in a little while, I'm joined once again by the Obsidian of Metal ASMR, also known as my wife. Why don't you say hello, my wife? Hello. Uh, today we are covering a series that we recently covered uh, as a playthrough, that we are now going to do a little summary review. Uh, by the way, my name is Abuna your host with the most, the most stuttering and losing his places. Why are you looking at me like that? Used. Anyway, as you can see, we are covering LEGO Indiana Jones, the original adventures uh, of the 2008. Yeah, because it was going to pick it up from that far away. So, we'll get right into it. Apologies for the antics. So, the game is adapted from the first three Indiana Jones films. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, and The Last Crusade. Lovingly recreated in the Lego form. Gameplay. Nice. As always. Game takes place in the Okay. Unlike Ninjago, which we have already covered, there is no smoking dialogue in this game, much like the other older LEGO games. Instead, most of the information is given through images or mumbles in cutscenes. Players are able to start with certain characters. Like a certain amount of stuff. Clean the levels in story mode will unlock free play, a staple in the LEGO games. This allows you to replay the levels without cutscenes using any character you have unlocked to collect the collectibles within. Many clips are included in the form of art. <laughs> Red bricks are also present, appearing as parcels that need to be posted into their respective post boxes found nearby. This provides stud multipliers, faster interactions, and other cheap. It's pretty much the same in each different LEGO game. Five of Collect Star Wars characters can also be found in a selection of them once a week. Of course, Han Solo being another character that um, Harrison Ford uh, uh, played. Bonus levels can be also be played upon completing specific requirements. A bonus flashback level is unlocked upon finishing the story. A level where you have to collect a million studs as fast as possible is unlocked upon collecting all the mini kits. This is present in basically every um, game, but usually it's gold bricks as opposed to mini bricks and mini kits. And finally, a sandbox hanger is unlocked as well, where you can test weapons and kits. This game was a joy to play. I loved every moment. This game was a joy to play, lovingly recreating the iconic moments from the movies while removing the nasty bits present in the films, such as the infamous scene where that guy gets shredded by a plane. Stasi, will you be quiet? I'm trying to record. He wants the fucking draw. It continues with the trend of having the humour that these games are known and loved for, as well as the incredible gameplay. Is he sat on the bag? So yeah, that about sums it up, just a little LEGO one we've covered recently, so we thought we'd just do like a little summary thing to wrap it all up with. Stasi, will you stop? You're really distracted. <laughs> anyway, thank you ever so much for listening. 
I've been your host, I'm Herbo Pumpkin, and I joined them once more by my wife. We're gonna do Obsidian Milk, Pat Lay some more. Got to say this in the last video we recorded together. You can find her links in the description, side of the link tree, alongside all the bars. And in the meantime, we will see you next time. Bye bye.